Well, hello again, and uh, thanks for taking the time to take a look at my Vintage Dirt Bike YouTube channel. Now, in this feature clip, we are going to have a look at a couple of British classic CCM machines, made famous, of course, by the legendary Alan Clues. Now the first machine we're going to take a look at here is uh, Rob Hughes 1978 uh, 2-valve CCM. Now this bike is a fully restored machine from 1978 and uh, Rob has spared absolutely no expense in uh, putting this beautiful machine together. Now I first set eyes on this uh, superb bike while I was doing my usual paddock walkabout at the 2018 Kendall Classic Revival Scramble. Now I only just managed to grab these uh, few video clips and one or two pictures of the bike while I was passing as uh, I had a lot going on that day and uh, was uh, very busy taking uh, pictures of many of the other bikes that were uh, languishing around the paddock. And so this was a bit of a smash and grab situation uh, really, but uh, I'm very glad that I took the time to have a look at this uh, superb machine. Now of course it's a 1978 two-valve model as mentioned previously and uh, of course, these uh, CCM engines are based on the old uh, BSA B50 uh, motors. And uh, as you can see, Rob has spared absolutely no expense by fitting the very best components to rebuild this uh, lovely bike. Now, if my memory serves me correctly, the gearboxes on these uh, CCMs were originally uh, three-speed quaff transmissions with uh, a lot of magnesium uh, used on these bikes uh, the as far as I can remember they had magnesium hubs uh, magnesium triple clamps and fork sliders and of course these black outer uh, engine covers were also uh, cast in magnesium now because this was uh, basically a bit of a rush job I never really managed to get many details of the actual parts that Rob used on the build of this bike but uh, it's not hard to see that uh, all the parts that have been fitted on this bike are uh, top notch. Now of course there are many companies in the UK now who are remanufacturing parts for these Allen Clues classics and uh, if you are thinking of building or buying one of these gorgeous four-stroke machines there are uh, plenty outlets in the UK if you need brand new parts. Now Martin Cook at uh, CCM Britain Limited supplies just about all you would need to build one of these CCM machines and uh, he stocks a very comprehensive uh, selection of spare parts for these bikes and uh, specialises in these CCMs from 1972 right up to 19. 81. Now Rob told me that uh, he has quite a comprehensive collection of classic dirt bikes at home so uh, Rob may be someone to keep uh, to hand if I need further material to use for my YouTube channel in the future if this is the sort of uh, workmanship that Rob is turning out. But of course it's thanks to the ingenuity and determination of the late uh, Alan Clues who started up CCM motorcycles in the early 1970s when uh, he bought up what was left of the BSA's competition department when they went out of business. Now of course Alan Clues always wanted a lighter, more nimble and modern motocross bike like the BSA factory's uh, 500cc engine specials. But of course Alan never had any access to 
these uh, big competition special engines and so had to make do and uh, make modifications to the uh, B50 standard BSA motor. But of course uh, many people think that Alan when he started up building these bikes that uh, he immediately began building these bikes as CCM machines but in fact when Alan first started it was actually the Clues Stroker was his uh, first ever machine he built in his garage and that was before he even registered that iconic title of Clues Competition Machines. Now of course many of the parts used in this bike's uh, restoration are not original uh, new old stock parts from 1978 but nevertheless they are still original copies of the parts used when the Bolton factory of CCM built these bikes back in the day. So anyway that's our first uh, bike in this uh, video clip that's uh, Rob Hughes's uh, lovely uh, two valve uh, CCM and uh, hopefully we will feature more of Rob's uh, superb restorations in the coming months here on my YouTube channel. Now this is a bike that needs absolutely uh, no introduction whatsoever. This is uh, Norman Barrow's 1976 547 Works CCM. Now of course this is not a freshened up uh, CCM from back in the day or even a uh, working restoration. This is a genuine 1976 uh, factory CCM which of course was ridden by the late Norman Barrow. Now Norman of course began his racing career in 1963 on a Greaves motorcycle and uh, later had a short spell on a Matisse. That was of course before he then went back to a semi-works Greaves bike and then subsequently into the CCM works team. And Norman of course also had a brief spell at uh, riding a Michael for uh, Bill Brown, uh, the famous uh, wealth sport uh, owner. Now during his motocross career, uh, Norman climbed as high as 7th in the British motocross rankings and was a long time member of the Bootle Scramble Club and was one of the organising team behind the famous Kendall Classic Nostalgia Scramble. But anyway, this was the actual factory bike that uh, Norman campaigned at the end of the 1975 and the first half of the 1976 motocross racing season. Now this is also the very same bike that uh, Norman famously broke in half at the 1976 500 British Grand Prix at Donington Park. Now on close inspection you can just about see where the CCM factory repaired the frame here at the headstock for the following weekend's uh, race event. Now in his later years Norman still took this bike to classic scramble events and won many races on this machine and that was long after he had left as a watch rider of the CCM factory. Now of course Norman was always a joy to watch on the racetrack with his uh, attacking and uh, exciting riding style. And although sadly we lost Norman to a mountain bike accident in December uh, 2011. Now although this race bike still hasn't been uh, put into retirement as uh, this machine is still now raced 
by Norman's son, uh, Tony. And if you're lucky enough to attend one of these uh, classic scramble events, whether it be the Nostalgia Scramble or the Cumberland Grand National, the chances are you will be able to see uh, Tony riding his uh, late father's CCM on the track and uh, just like his father, Tony also is uh, very quick on uh, this little bike. So there you have it, another uh, classic CCM machine and uh, certainly a bike with uh, plenty history with it uh, being Norman Barrow's uh, CCM watch bike. Now we can't do a start up of this bike but what we can do is let you see the bike in action here on the track ridden by uh, Norman's uh, son Tony at the Kendall Classic Revival Scramble in 2018. Now Tony is third from the left in the yellow top as they leave the line. As you can see the bike is very quick off the line and uh, Tony slips into third place just ahead of uh, Lewis Bell and uh, Jonathan Bethel. Now this particular race is uh, for CCM bikes only and uh, if you've never been to the Kendall Classic Revival Scramble then uh, please make a point in going. It's held in August each year down near Penrith. But as you can see uh, Tony has all the traits from his uh, late father Norman on this uh, very quick CCM machine. And it's still great to see that uh, Tony is uh, still putting his dad's old race bike out on the track and uh, not uh, locking it away somewhere uh, gathering dust in a workshop or garage. But during my travels I've uh, seen this bike in action many times and uh, witnessed uh, Tony receiving some uh, very good trophies uh, for his uh, top finishes on his dad's old uh, CCM bike. Of course when Tony's dad Norman had uh, semi-retired from competition racing he uh, gained a new lease of life and started riding in local trials and uh, even took up mountain biking and uh, was riding his mountain bike in his local fell mountains. But it's said that uh, Norman was out at least two or three times a week riding with his uh, racing pals and he even cycled in the dark using lights when the uh, darker UK winters drew in. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed having a look at these two classic CCM machines. Uh, Rob Hughes' 1978 bike and this uh, beautiful works bike of Norman Barrows being ridden, of course, by his son, Tony. This video was brought to you in association with World Sport, the world's number one supplier for all your off-road and leisure sportswear. Just visit their online website for more details.